Lichtenberg fractals are figures imprinted into or onto electrically resistive medium by the movement of electric charge. In nature, these designs can often be seen on the targets of lightning strikes. Trees, buildings, soil, and even people have all been recognized to exhibit Lichtenberg fractals on their surfaces immediately after being struck by lightning. Even the bolt of lightning itself can exhibit fractal-like geometry as a flow of charge moves between cloud and ground, burning a channel of plasma through the atmosphere. It's also possible, however, to create these designs intentionally. High potential electrical energy can be used to motivate the movement of electrons through otherwise non-conductive material. And one of the most beautiful examples of this are the Lichtenberg masterpieces created by artist and engineer Bert Hickman of Captured Lightning. He forges three-dimensional Lichtenberg gemstones from acrylic glass by use of a high-energy electron beam accelerator. Other less exotic materials, however, such as wood, can also be employed to showcase these beautiful mosaics. I wanted to explore the possibility of creating large-scale Lichtenberg fractals by use of high-voltage DC electricity, just like the kind found in lightning. So for this, I'm going to employ an externally ballasted multi-tap transformer bank. Now the transformer bank should be capable of delivering a minimum of between 7 to 10,000 volts, and ballasting will be accomplished by way of an inductor the measured value being set at about 200 henrys. High voltage current will then be rectified by a full bridge. And the specimen used for the fractal itself? Well, that'll be a two by two foot piece of three quarter inch medium density fiberboard. Now my plan is to clamp a metal bar across the entire top edge of the MDF. That bar will then be electrically bonded to the cathode of the rectifier. A pointed metal spike will then be connected to the anode of the rectifier by way of a thin insulated wire. And this spike then manipulated by hand to encourage the desired tree-like geometry. Now having said that, it's critically important to point out that very strict safety protocol will be employed during this process to prevent killing myself. And killing myself would be bad because dead people can't make Lichtenberg fractals. So for starters, I'll be wearing these class 2 20 kV rubber gloves during this process. In addition to this, I'll also be standing on a class 2 20 kV rubber blanket. I'll be dressed from head to toe in FR clothing and my boots will also be dielectrically insulated. The bench being used to support the specimen will also be blanketed in 20 kV rubber. And last, but certainly not least, the high voltage windings of the transformer being employed for this activity will be isolated from earth. And this is very important. This ensures that there's absolutely no electrical relationship between these windings and the ground itself. In the event that I might make accidental contact between this voltage machine and the ground at the same time, this last safety step ensures that I don't become a human fuse link between these two potentials, thereby ending my life. Let's watch and see how this works.
goes down scattered clouds well <laughs> here it is after a quick sand a coat of epoxy and a custom made frame electricity's artwork is revealed and i must admit i'm quite impressed with the results the techniques employed seem to work remarkably well and even though the burn channels were encouraged to follow desired trajectories ultimately at the level of the subatomic the fractals themselves were forged only by the will of electrons and i suppose that's really what makes this so beautiful it's a chaotic mosaic of symmetry reflecting the hidden desire of nature to become realized through beauty which suggests to me at least that to know beauty is to know the mind of the universe itself it's really cool now i think i'll take this little piece of the universe upstairs and hang it over my workbench <laughs> <laughs>